Hey, it's Sunday Marie with Empower Your Life Show, a place to inspire, increase your positivity, help you break those stubborn limiting beliefs and gain more personal power, make you stronger, resilient, confident, and more authentic while creating or building or growing the life and business that you truly deserve. I super love this episode, but before we dive into this episode, I want to share with you that I bet, and I'm sure that you know this, but it's worth repeating, transforming your life to become the best version of yourself is not an overnight change. It's not an overnight success. And I'm sure that this is not the first time you're hearing it. If it is, it's a fact. So give yourself a permission to sign up, acknowledge that when you are signing up or enrolling yourself to become the best version of yourself is not going to be a overnight journey or success and transforming your life to become the best version of yourself mostly based on your small choices and actions you take so i'm sharing this episode with you for three amazing reasons number one is to remind and encourage you to stay consistent, build that awesome discipline, be intentional, and be super creative with your effort. Because I can guarantee you, gradually, you will see that great changes within you. And remember this, it's not a total waste of time. Please believe me in this because investing to your personal growth or personal development, it's a huge gift that you could actually give it to yourself. I promise you that. Second, always think on long game, long term goals and long time perspective. So think about it. If you're new in your job or if you're new in business or if you're new in the industry, Think about any successful that you know that you aspire to be that actually never thought about longer term goals or long term goals. Most of successful people that I know that I have studied and make a research, they tend to focus on long game, long term goals, long time perspective. And yes, you've got to be patient, 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 patient. Keep showing up, do and be the best you can. And remember this, put your all inside everywhere in your entire body. So you can remember that you decided you sign up, you enroll all in that. Yes, it's going to get harder and harder and harder. It's going to get tougher and tougher and tougher. But you know what? As I always say to my clients, yes, it's going to get tougher and tougher and tougher because you're moving forward to the best version of yourself. But you know what? you're going to be awesomer and awesomer and awesomer. <laughs> and the third thing is to never give up permitting yourself on dream big. Because what more compelling and exciting to know that you can dream big and at the same time can achieve it slowly but surely. And the most important thing that I want to highlight here because I truly believe that this is the most important part when you're really signing up enrolling yourself to become or to access to achieve the best version of yourself is focusing more on who are you becoming with your journey with your progress with your processes that's actually already a sign of success and winning because obviously as you keep moving forward, as you keep on stretching yourself from your uh, comfort zone, out of your comfort zone, and you also be more intentional with who you are surrounded with, you are becoming different. You are totally a new person that though that old version of you, people that who used to know you, they no longer able to, I, you know, recognize you because you're totally different. So focusing on who you are becoming in this transition of your life that you're choosing, because I believe that this is the perfect gift. This is the, this is the amazing part on how you can be more abundant, how can be more victorious in your life. So in today's episode, I'm going to share with you five benefits, not in order, uh, 
the five benefits of being optimistic that can literally transform your life. Especially when you're in a new chapter uh, of your life or having a tough moment in life. And I'm super hopeful that this episode's gonna help. If it's your first time on my show or on our show, welcome. And thank you for being here with us on this episode. Optimism, according to Google, it's a hope or belief that good things will happen in the future. Well, in my experience or in my understanding and opinion, it's a mental attitude. It's a mindset. It's a skill set that great news. It's something that we can all learn, you know, a skill set, a mindset or a mental attitude that we keep choosing and believing that something great will happen in the most challenging situation that we're experiencing. Choosing that positive thing thinking, uh, positive choices, uh, decision and actions that will eventually help to have a positive outcomes and really help our well-being. So in this episode, we will dive in more into how our thinking or our thoughts, choices, decision and action that we take can impact our optimism and really transform our lives. So some people learn optimism or being optimistic at early age. For example, for me, I actually learned it at very, very young age. And I think uh, being, you know, coming from Philippines, we, I believe we do have that sort of optimism within us. And uh, I didn't recognize that it was my grandma until when I was having this I was interviewing one of our guests in the show, uh, asking out of curiosity, well, who's your influencer of being optimistic? And I was like, oh, I realized it was, it was my late grandma. Uh, back then, when I was younger, there was this point of time that we don't have choices <laughs> in certain, a lot of things. And so one night we're having this dinner I remember being curious being naive being innocent you know as a kid you're gonna ask something why do we have this every night <laughs> or why can't we have something else and I remember my grandma was telling us that the most important is that we have something on the table we have something to serve we have something to eat and that literally switched my perspective or thinking in my entire life that it's it's about the perspective the choices the thoughts the positive thinking which part of the situation that you're going to look at so you can move forward and have that positivity in life that was the early stage where i learned of being optimistic and that continuously helped me all the way to where i am right now you know when we when we have this uh, when we choose to think positively when we choose to think and speak positively when we choose to think speak and act positively the high chance of having a positivity in life or having that positive mindset it's going to increase more and more because that's what's the perspective what's the lenses what the choices what the uh angle that you usually uh, focusing on rather than on the negative side, which is the fact is, okay, we have a challenge here. We have a situation here, but how can we actually move forward if we're going to keep on thinking on the negative side, right? So of course, some people also grow up with negative or pessimistic surroundings or environments. Again, the great news is that this is a skill set, this is a mindset, this is an attitude that we can all learn. It doesn't matter what's your age, what's your status, where you're coming from, whatever that may be, it doesn't matter. Great news, we can all learn from here, from now onwards. Going back to your thinking, your thoughts, your choices, your decisions, and your behavior or how you act are super, super crucial that influence your success, your transformation, your happiness, and prosperity in life. So let's break it down, the five benefits of being optimistic that can literally transform your life. First, 
It can boost or it boosts physical health. So according to the studies, according to the research, we have all real based stories, movies out there that, you know, when you are optimistic, you have stronger immune system. Um, think about those people that you know being optimistic that they actually tend to have lesser or even fewer sick leaves. I'm I'm one of those. <laughs> I I can remember or recall when was the last time I took sick leave or sick leave when I was still working in a corporate world or corporate uh, job. Um, also, you know, when you are optimistic, you have this tendency of thinking positive mindset, right? Positive thoughts. And therefore, you also have this unlikely. Uh, chance of getting sick or diseases, for example, a uh, heart condition. And the most important, you have a longer lifespan, which we all want, right? And you also, not only that, you have, you look younger, you look, uh, you look glowing, you look, uh, you look positive, you know, you look happy, you look joyful. It's because of the perspective that you choose always in life. And therefore, so think about it. Let me give you an example, very, very simple example between pessimistic and optimistic when they're sick, right? S pessimistic people would tend to think of oh, how horrible it is. I am sick again. I fall sick. What is happening with me? What's going on with me? I always feel tired. I always feel weak. Now I feel helpless because I can't go to work and I can't eat properly and so on and so forth. Can you pay attention with how that person actually communicate to herself or himself and even maybe communicating with their friends or colleagues? As for optimistic person, they will tend to acknowledge like this. I see that I have neglected my physical or my health. Therefore, my body is telling me to rest. Therefore, I feel sick now. So I'm going to take good care of myself, rest, recharge, and really think about anything that could help me to get better. So next week, I could go back to work. See the difference, see the perspective, see the choices, see the energy. And remember this, if you keep on focusing on the problem, you're going to attract more problem. Therefore, it's becoming a reality. Now, if you're going to keep on thinking about the solution, you're going to attract more positivity. Therefore, it's becoming your reality. So pay attention. Okay. <laughs> so that's one of the benefits on how being optimistic can help you literally transform your life. Second one is increase resilience. We know that resilience is all about having that perspective of what can we learn from this lesson or this situation. So optimistic people tend to look for growth, tend to look for lessons, tend to look for positive messages or signals or signs that things happening for a reason. This is happening, for example, you're seeking for promotion and therefore you see that there are a lot of challenges that are happening. It's because you're stretching your comfort zone. It's normal. And you're going to say to yourself, you know what? I asked for it. I want to be promoted. Bring it on. As for pessimistic, oh, I didn't sign up for this. Why it's so tough. You know, I'd rather go back to my old position and so on and so forth. And guess what? You're not, you're not going to be performing well on that level. And then you feel like you're not going to able to handle many challenging situations. Therefore, you're going to end up complaining. You're going to be end up victim. You're going to be ended up prison of situation or circumstances that in fact, you still have a chance to focus on the positive side. And that's going to help you to become more resilient. It's because of the thoughts, of the thinking, the choices, the decisions, and the action that really, really crucial in any aspect in your life, whether to yourself, especially to yourself, to other people, and to, to any situation. You know, we go worried so much, stressed out and locked to self-sabotaging or self-pity. 
we're not only affecting our mental health, right? That also affecting our entire being. Therefore, we feel so weak. We feel like we are not able to move forward. We feel like we are so depressed, whatever that may be. And therefore, we feel like there's no chance that we can move forward. This specific thinking not going to help you long time or for long term. So be, be cautious. Have that awareness when you're having a, a, a situation in life becoming more challenging and challenging and challenging and challenging. Tell to yourself or speak to yourself with gentle and love that it's happening for me for a reason. The universe is actually building you to become more stronger, to wiser and resilient in this case for whatever that you wish that you ask for. So for example, you want to dream big, you want to become the CEO. So you're going to face a lot of challenges. But just remember, those challenges are part of growth. So you can handle more and more challenging situation and you can be more awesome. Don't forget, the more challenges that you can overcome, the more awesome that you become. I, I think it's very important as well to share with you this particular um quote from Lao Tzu. It says, if you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. And if you are at peace, you are living in the present moment. So, you know, optimistic people are very future oriented people. But at the same time, so for you to keep centered, this is the most important one is to be focused in the present moment. This is super important, whatever that you're working on, whether that's personal relationship, career or business, you have goals for your future, who you want to become, but also make sure that you're focusing in the present moment, that you appreciate what you're doing, what you are be you're being, you are doing and being the best you can. You are showing up every day. You're showing up today. You're listening and watching here right now because you feel within you that you have the potential. And I can tell you, yes, you have the potential. We all have that potential, the uniqueness within us that we have all that gifts just waiting for us to open it. So when you feel that you're depressed, remember, you're actually focusing on the past. Now, if you're feeling anxious, oh my God, can I handle this? Blah, blah, blah. You're focusing more on the future. So you're forgetting being here, being in the now, being in the present moment. Okay. So for you to be able to be more resilient and staying optimistic, remember to be also focusing in the present moment, in the now, in the moment. Okay. So third thing better relationships. Now I'm going to be very careful with this because they are toxic, optimistic people and there are genuine and very uplifting, um, optimistic people. You have to be paying attention, your surroundings, the people you are surrounding with you, the people that you, you mostly spending your time with, as they said, this five closest people that you spend time, your that you spend your time most, these are the people that the reflection who you are becoming in the future or who you are right now and who you are becoming. So be more cautious, be more aware, pay more attention. Who are those people that I am spending time more with? And just pay attention with their personality, with the identity, the way they're thinking, their mindset and all of that. Are they the kind of person that actually uplifting you, pushing you, challenging you to become the best version of yourself? Or they're the kind of people that pulling you that this is the optimistic, the toxic one. Hey, it's okay. You know, you look amazing already. Why move forward? Stay here. It's all good. We're all good. We're happy, aren't we? So these are also the people that you have to be careful with. They sound positive, you know, jolly, energetic and all of that, but they don't want you to move forward. 
And that's something that you have to really, really listen carefully with the messages, with the signs, with the gesture. And what we know, this is the harsh truth, that most of our good friends tend to be also our haters when we transform, right? That's the reality. And this is also the thing that we have to understand and acknowledge that when we move forward to become the best version of ourselves, we are tend to shift the environment, the people that we surround with. Because people, the old version of you, they can't resonate with you anymore. And that's totally okay. But you have to acknowledge that. That's part of it. Being optimistic, you are okay with that. You know when you sign up to become the best version of yourself, people will not getting along with you anymore. The energy is not going to be the same. You don't talk the same language anymore or the, 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 the energy, whatever that may be. And that's when the moment that you have to reassess, okay, this is where I want to be. And this is the people I am surrounded with now. Are they going to help me? No. So if you're not able to shift that, spend lesser time with them. And I, as I always say this, even though that you're no longer spending time with these people that no longer in the same alignment as you do, send them love, send them care. Because we all want to bring out the best love, you know, the positivity in this world. So being optimistic myself, I always tell this to people, to my clients, that don't blame other people with the situation that you're at. Take ownership, take, take responsible with it. Yes, they may be, you know, you also have done something. They have done something wrong, but that's the past. You want to move forward. Send them love anyway. Send them care and pray for the best for them as well as you move forward. Yes? Awesome. So that's how you're going to create or how being an optimistic uh, relationship can build a better relationship. It could be anything, friendship, romantic, colleagues, whatever, or peers. When you are in an optimistic group, community, or, or person, or friend, this person will uplift you, will challenge you, will, will support you, will tell you the truth harsh truth but with love because they see the, the potential in you as well so they allow you to get adventures take the risks and you know move forward and figure out who you want to become this is the people that you want to be surrounded with so pay attention when you want to have better relationships when you want to be the best version of yourself pay attention of your relationships so number four, greater success. Most of optimistic people tend to get promoted, get a great salary increment, you know, successful or thriving business. It's because of the mindset. Optimistic people tend to have a growth mindset. Um, they tend to, optimistic people would have written goals and for long-term goals, you know, and also excellence uh, orientation. So being optimistic, you're welcome, you acknowledge and you sign up being a lifelong learner. It means that you're going to keep on challenging yourself. What are those things that you can learn more and surprise yourself more that you can hone as skills, as gifts, as talents? Because you really want to become the best version of yourself. And this is the intention of this episode, right? To transform your life, to become the best version of yourself. When you opening of learning, you never end of being curious. You never end of experimenting, exploring, taking those risks and adventurous despite your age despite your status whatever that may be the likely of the success is very high because you keep on opening more opportunities more possibilities creating a room and space for all of the things that you can learn right and optimistic people have the greater success it's because they are more willing optimistic people willing to learn more 
to attend more courses, to attend more programs, to extend, stretch from the comfort zone. As where pessimistic people will tend to, this is my life. I have no chance. This is me. Live, take it or leave it, right? And also, I just don't have it. So many people would have these uh, comments with me. Oh, you look so confident. You just have it. First of all, that's another conversation, right? It's another skill that you can hone. It's the same thing with optimistic. I didn't have whatever I'm having right now, being optimistic, being so confident, you know, having this super amazing self-esteem just because it's a practice. So for pessimistic, it's just that you have it all. You have this talent, you have these gifts, you have these skills. I'm just not like that. I'm a lazy person. I, um, I'm not disciplined. I, um, whatever, negativity. Again, what your thoughts how you think, what you choose, the words that communicate, what you express, and how you behave, your energy, guess what? That's becoming your reality. So pay attention. You want to become successful? Be optimistic. And last but not the least, of course, enhance happiness, the joy. We all want joy, happiness in our lives, aren't we? And one of the, if you haven't watched or listened to my uh, other solo episode, I talked about uh, how the, or what time off can teach you about peace, success, and abundance in life. And I talked about gratitude. Many optimistic people have this uh, approach to really look into small details to be grateful in life. So for example, have you ever thought in your daily life, be honest to yourself, of how grateful you are being alive today? When we are too busy with our big goals, being whatever that may be, we are so ambitious, we are so focused on achieving big things, we tend to neglect those small things that's super profound and important in our lives. We are breathing. We have this access to... Spend time with the nature. I love being outdoor. Whenever I see the sun, oh, thank you. I experience to see the sun. I experience the transition of daylight and nighttime. Now, for pessimistic people, they will usually think of, ah, oh, like that. <laughs> what could be more perfect than this? Or... How can I have more perfect life than this? This is horrible. Like, isn't it the best? Is this the real best life that I could have? Really? I feel weak. I'm always getting sick. I, I hate my job. I don't have great friends. They're all sabotaging me. Um, I don't, I look awful and all of that. Remember the thinking the thoughts, the choices, the decision, and the, the action you take, that's becoming your reality. And why not really choose optimistic? Optimism really giving you the positive side of every challenging moment. How amazing is that? You can always think of every possible positive things that are happening in your daily life. So, for example, you are new in this business right? So for example, in coaching, um, you're aiming to have, let's say, 10 clients within this year or the next four or five months. You're expecting that to happen within the next three months and ask yourself, okay, what I have been doing? Oh, nothing much. And yet you're expecting that it, things can happen. So pessimistic will be telling to yourself like, that's it. This is just not for me. It's so difficult. Nobody's helping me. I mean, come on. I have a wonderful website and all of that. Why I still never get a client? Optimistic. This is part of my journey. It's not going to be easy to have clients. It's because it's, it's a very relationship-based approach. 
you know you have to build that trust you have to build that uh alignment that resonance with the person that you're going to help or navigate so it's going to take a while and how you're going to do that is to be intentional to stay optimistic with a journey that is super different super new but you just know once again it's long-term goals you create a great foundation on how to build a strong and thriving business by thinking positive and keep on modifying your approaches until you self experience the perfect formula for you and of course one formula doesn't fit all so that's just an example choosing the thoughts the thinking the decision and action can literally reflect the reality that you're creating so be cautious pay more attention be aware and i always say this you know shake off shake off the negativity and put a new attitude positivity towards great possibilities right when you are in tough times you have to shake off the worry you have to shake off all of this negativity within you because honestly what is it the positive thing that could give you with negative thoughts well i uh, what i one thing that i could think of is your comfort zone because it's easy to complain it's easy to come back to your old you rather than stretching yourself you know challenging yourself that's going to be tougher yes but ask yourself is it going to be worthwhile in the next 5 10 years to be where i am right now if your answer is no well the answer is very very clear that challenge yourself to move forward and that's five benefits of being optimistic that can literally transform your life so i'm going to ask you this are you choosing to become scarcity thinker or welcoming abundance in life being positive thinker whereby you're going to choose more on the brighter side of the challenging situation that's happening in your life and at the same time focusing on the solutions instead what also you have learned from this episode what are those insights that you have got from this episode and most importantly what is one simple action that you're going to take today onwards that could really really help to transform your life super curious to so drop your comments below and don't forget if you find this episode super valuable and helpful please help yourself to share it over to your friends or anybody the more the merrier so we can reach more people to empower lives too and when it's becoming challenging for you to move forward i'm here for you thank you thank you so much here yours truly Cindy Marie to empower your life Thank you so much for watching or listening. I hope you find it very helpful, valuable and useful as I do. And remember, stay optimistic because this is one of the key factors or gifts that you could ever give to yourself to transform and empower your life. Stay consistent, take action, believe in yourself, be relentless, be impeccable, be unstoppable and stay on your game because you've got what it takes to achieve your dreams and also make an impact in this world. Till next time.